concept board tutorial for beginners all you need to start with concept board hello guys Celia here and in this video i'm going to show you how can we easily use this digital board basically it's not that hard so here we are on conceptboard.com in the top of the screen you can find some information if you need and let's click on try free for 30 days they provide us the opportunity to try the service for free so we can easily create an account with email or we can sign in with google or facebook Facebook. In my case, I'm going to use Gmail account. I think it's pretty cool. So let it be like this. Uh, all we need to do is just to input the name. So let it be like this. Add team members. I don't need. So let's start trial. And in a few seconds, uh, we'll come to our dashboard where we can find all of our boards. So as you can see in the top of the screen, there is like our name, our account, where we can manage all of our settings. We can edit profile add some payment information if we are going to buy like paid plans. In the left side, we have like menu with a home where we can find all the conversations with our team. If it's necessary in the right side, we can invite new users to this like board. In the boards area, we can find all of our boards we created. In our here, there is like deleted board or archived. And also we can add different projects. We can add invite users and we can manage our accounts in the account setting. So let's click on a new board to start creating and we'll come to the page. From this page, we can um, like edit every single part of our whiteboard. In the top of the screen, there is like amount of different folders, board, edit, view, help. So if we'll go to view, we can insert alerts, add some stuff. On edit page, we can undo and redo our actions, copy, paste, delete, and do some other stuff. Basically, if we'll click on plus in the left top corner, we can insert a different uh, finger things we can like upload files we can insert section insert building block insert template insert icon insert widget embedded like audio or video all we can also like import from dropbox google drive box and onedrive so as you can see we have a lot of different templates if you'll come to templates area they're divided into different categories like agile um, board games, brainstorming, ice break. So I suggest you to try it by yourself. There are tons of different templates we can easily use. So for example, for the agile, uh, we can use this part here. So let it click on add template and we'll add it right up here. So as you can see, we have like four sections here and like uh, four like rules or something like this. And in order to interact with our objects, if we edit something, we can also like upload files, add different blocks. So let's also add maybe block here. So add a template. So as you can see, we have like a different amount of different like blocks on our um, on our whiteboard and we can interact with every single part. In the left bottom corner, we can also like zoom in and zoom out if it's necessary. I think it's sometimes pretty cool. And in order to move the whiteboard, we just simply need to click on space and then just move as you can see like this. So in order to interact with elements, we have like this panel here. From this page, we can easily switch between move and select area. Also, uh, we can erase some stuff uh, or we can do some other stuff. Uh, we can draw if we need, so we can highlight something, we can edit something. Also the highlighter, we can easily like, uh, you know, select some parts you want to show for the viewers. Uh, we can create different lines, we can switch between line, arrow, like this arrow and like arrow with two arrows basically. And also we can add different shapes, as you can see we have like rectangle, oval, um, huge amount of different shapes. We can change it like this. So for example, they will be uh, They will have some opacity and in order to interact with the properties of the object We can easily create and as you can see here. We have this panel where we can pin uh, We can set the text style. We can add the text options. We can change the shape We can change the color. We can change the a set shape opacity, we can change the line width, so the borders, we can make them bigger or something like this. 
and we can also set the line style we can make it like this for example so uh, there are a lot of options we can basically do also we can add text uh, the same options but we can change the font the opacity so every single element has its own um, properties we can easily change so for example we can interact with this schema we can delete some objects if we don't need them uh, we can resize this part here uh, we can rotate it if it's necessary so in this case we can interact with every single object all you need to do is just to understand how would you like to uh, interact with concept board and what would you like to build here so we can easily build some schemas by ourselves so basically add them here add one more rectangle here add maybe like this circle here add this circle here add these lines or we can even draw them so for example like this these it leads to this to this and so on so the interface is quite simple uh, and you need to really understand uh, how would you like to use it for brainstorming for interacting with your team if you want to interact you can just simply click on share in the right top corner and um, we can like name your board is still a name so let it be like board let's add the name board one save and now we can send, send the link to anyone who wants to uh, join it. So basically, as for me, it's pretty cool because we can share our board in the case of this. And if you click on boards in the left top corner, we can find our board right up here. From this page, we can easily interact, we can share, go to settings, set up workflow, add some attachment, copy link, duplicate or archive. So if you want to hide it from our like uh, homepage, we can easily archive this board. And after that, uh, just we can find it only in archive. So basically, these are the main features. And if you are going to discover the paid plans, we can find three of them. One of them is free, premium and business, six dollars and nine and a half. So we can find some differences also. Uh, but as for me, the easiest variant is to try it for free and then we can decide what's the differences. We can find all the features as for the premium business and enterprise. We can find that as for free, we cannot create projects. Uh, we don't have like an external editors and so on. And for the premium, we have like two team members, unlimited editable boards, unlimited objects per board. But the same as for free, unlimited editable boards and objects per board is 100. So basically, this is the way of how can we interact with concept board. Hope guys, this video was helpful for you. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.